We have seen unsuccessful love stories uh, on a TV screen, on big screen and in our day to day life and its number is increasing very rapidly. It's happening all over. So you may or may not have seen this particular love story. That's not important. In this story everyone has suffered. The girls, boys and their families. Kundan, Zoya, Jasjeet, Akram, Bindia and their families, everyone. Society has lost a good leader, a good citizen who would have served the society to great extent. And nobody is villain, nobody is bad man in the story. Everyone is good in their own place and some are exceptionally good. They are just a victim of the present day hodgepodge society's culture. One may say that all these are happening because of parents, elders who do not allow for love marriage, intercaste marriage. And one should get freedom to get married wherever he or she wants, irrespective of caste, faith, beliefs, religion. But it is not so, this is ignorance. This freedom is also causing problem as we have seen in western countries and in Indian metro cities as well. There are high divorce rates, relationship breakups and many other problems because of this freedom. Boys and girls suffer even when parents give freedom to choose their life partner. As recently we have seen in famous Bollywood actress Jia Khan's suicide case. Jia Khan committed suicide and her boyfriend Suraj Pancholi went to jail. So these are the consequences of freedom as we all have seen and many other cases like this. So just by getting freedom youth would not get peace. The actual cause of the problem is free mixing uncontrolled senses and godless society. Free mixing is one of the main causes resulting in unsuccessful love stories and because of these unsuccessful love stories many people are suffering their life has become miserable, many have committed suicide, many are suffering tension, depression and other mental disease and many are killed and in India we have seen a owner killing where parents kill their own children. In the previous times all these miseries were very rare. Parents, elders, family members used to arrange the marriage of our children in their early age. For boys they arrange the marriage from 15 and at most 20 years of his age and for girls they used to arrange the marriage from 14 and at most 18 years. So in this way they get married in the early age. Boys and girls do not have much exposure of each other. There was no co-education. Boys and girls had a different facilities for education. There were no offices, job requirements where boys and girls had to work together and there were almost no opportunity for making friendship. These mobiles and Facebook, all these recently developed by the society and these are facilitating free mixing. Another reason for all these miseries is uh, uncontrolled senses. We all have a strong desire to enjoy and our senses are not at all in our control. As Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, the senses are so strong and impulsive that they act uh, without thought and care. Senses forcefully carry away the mind even of men of discrimination who is endeavoring to control them. While contemplating the objects of the senses, 
a person develops attachment for objects and from attachment lust develops and from lust anger arises from anger complete delusion arises and from delusion bewilderment of memory so from delusion comes a loss of memory one forgets vedic injunctions the knowledge of do and don'ts and when memory is lost it destroy the intelligence so from bewilderment of a memory it leads to loss of intelligence and when intelligence is lost one falls down again into material pool but a person free from all aversions and attachment free from all likes and dislikes and, and can control his senses through regulative principle of freedom can obtain the complete mercy of the lord for one the satisfied all sorts of miseries of material existence exists no longer for him in such satisfied consciousness one's intelligence is soon well established one who is not connected with the supreme can have neither transcendental intelligence nor a steady mind without which there is no possibility of peace and how can there be any happiness without peace